The Narcissist and the Empath, A Tale of Emotional Evasion. Welcome, listeners, to another episode of Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World. In this episode, we'll navigate through the emotionally turbulent landscape of a short-lived, yet intensely impactful relationship with a narcissist. This journey is based on a true story, a story that reads like a chapter torn out of a psychological suspense novel, but one that is as real as the air we breathe. Today's narrative takes us through a passionate liaison, a relationship spanning less than four fleeting months. However, the depth of experience packed into this short period has left an indelible mark on the protagonist, who we will call E, an empathetic person with a heart that feels deeply and unreservedly. The Narcissist's Identity The leading character opposite E is a narcissist. Let's call this person N. N is magnetic, engaging, and seemingly perfect in every way. This charming exterior hides a more complex and destructive interior, much like an intricately wrapped gift box holding a bitter surprise. N possesses an energy that draws people in, and a pragmatic ruthlessness that could make Machiavelli wince. To N, relationships are transactions, and people, mere commodities, are assets or liabilities to be used and discarded as per their utility. N had a way with words that made contradictions seem like the most profound truths. One moment, they'd anxiously seek validation, do you think I'm pretty? Yet the next day, they'd shrug it off with a casual, oh, I'm over that, I don't care what people think. The Narcissist's Motivations and Strategies Behind the grand facades, the narcissist is a puppet master, pulling strings and directing narratives. Narcissists crave admiration, seek validation, and crave control. Yet, they also shy away from expectations and commitments. To N, the chase was exciting, but the catch, less so. Every relationship was a quest for short-term gratification, a rendezvous to stoke the fires of their ego. N thrived in the spotlight, spinning tales and putting on a show to appear as the leader. Their world was a stage, and they were always the star. N saw life as a series of win-or-lose situations. And in this worldview, winning was the only option. Competition was the lifeblood of their existence, even if it came at the cost of camaraderie. The Narcissist's Impact N's actions and words often left E in a state of constant self-questioning and doubt. As E navigated their relationship, the fragments of N's true personality gradually came to light. N would become cold and critical when they felt challenged, and E often bore the brunt of their contempt. E felt like a moth drawn to a flame, unable to escape the destructive allure of N's personality. But as E continued to walk the tumultuous path, they started realizing the nature of the beast they were dealing with. N's criticisms were not reflections of E's worth, but a reflection of N's insecurities. N's contempt was not an indicator of E's inadequacy, but a means for N to shield themselves from shame. The Narcissist's Discard and the Empath's Revelation A single embarrassing incident in front of N's friends acted as the catalyst, unmasking the reality of N's personality. N's reaction was overblown, filled with anger. The Narcissist's Reaction N's reaction to the incident was disproportionately severe. Their anger, not just a spark, but a raging wildfire, engulfed E in its wrath. Their fury was less about the incident itself and more about their bruised ego. N felt as if they had been betrayed, their meticulously crafted image shattered in front of the people whose opinion mattered to them. As a narcissist, maintaining a favorable public image was paramount to N, and any perceived threat to it was met with harsh retaliation. Friends or Pawns in the Game The role of N's friends in this incident can be seen as a reflection of the narcissist's tendency to use people as pawns in their game. N was quick to narrate a one-sided story to their friends, painting themselves as the victim and E as the perpetrator. In doing so, they sought to isolate E while gaining sympathy and validation from their social circle. This tactic served as a double-edged sword, cutting E off from potential sources of support while reinforcing N's self-justifying narrative. The Narcissist's Discard Following the incident, N chose to discard E, ending their relationship. 
This discard was abrupt, leaving E reeling from the sudden absence of N in their life. However, the discard was not just about N distancing themselves from E. It was a power play, an assertion of control, and a means for N to avoid dealing with the embarrassment and discomfort the incident had caused. The Empath's Revelation Throughout their relationship, E had been picking up on the red flags that hinted at N's narcissism, but it was the discard that acted as the final piece of the puzzle. E started to understand N's pragmatism, lack of empathy, their need for praise, and their habit of treating relationships as transactions. The discard was a bitter pill to swallow, but it also served as a powerful wake-up call for E. At this point, our empath, E, began to take proactive steps in an attempt to move on. He deleted all videos, images, memes, and any other digital remnants of their shared past. It was a purge, a reset, a desperate grasp at turning back time, or at the very least, wiping clean the present. It was a way to create a blank slate from which he could rebuild. The deletion of their shared digital life, however, did little to ease E's pain or bring closure. So he reached out to N in an attempt to make amends, to mend the frayed connections, and to communicate. His outreach was met with silence, an echoless void that merely amplified his own sense of confusion and hurt. Moreover, E went further. Out of genuine concern and a desire to understand, he wrote N a heartfelt handwritten letter appealing to her to seek help. He suggested that her reactions and behavior might be trauma responses, a perspective he had gleaned through his ongoing journey of self-awareness and understanding. This was not a blame game. It was a plea for mutual healing. Faced with unrelenting silence and his own spiraling thoughts, E turned to therapy, investing thousands of dollars into unraveling the tangles of emotions, perceptions, and experiences that had come to define his relationship with N. In an interesting twist, E observed that his emails, although unanswered, were repeatedly read by N. He couldn't help but wonder about the significance of this silent interaction. Was it curiosity, guilt, an attempt at understanding, or a form of control that drove her to read and reread his words over and over again? Eventually, N responded to one of his final emails, stating that she would be willing to meet with E and his therapist to, quote, clear the air, end quote. The phrase itself, when uttered by a narcissist, can often be a ruse to maintain control or manipulate the situation. It is generally not a genuine desire for resolution or understanding. In a sudden, unexpected encounter at a concert, E's fight, flight, or freeze instincts were triggered, a physiological response to the sudden onslaught of stress and anxiety. He chose to be the bigger person and attempted to talk to N. However, his attempt was met with a cold, dismissive no as she walked away, perpetuating a victim narrative that stood in stark contrast to the reality of their past relationship. This encounter served as the final piece of the puzzle, crystallizing E's understanding of N as a true narcissist. It was a harsh awakening, a realization that his trust had been misplaced in someone who had promised to protect it, but instead chose to betray it. It was a realization that brought clarity and relief yet also fresh waves of sorrow and loss. In the aftermath, E took the necessary step of blocking N on all social media platforms, a strategy often recommended to break free from the toxic cycle of a relationship with a narcissist. This digital severance was a form of self-preservation, a way to curate his online environment and protect himself from inadvertent triggers or unwanted interactions. The journey of E is one of hardship, self-discovery, and resilience. It reminds us that in the realm of emotions and relationships, the lines between right and wrong, love and manipulation, truth and illusion can often blur, leaving us navigating an intricate labyrinth. But in this navigation, there is growth, there is learning, and most importantly, there is the possibility of finding our own self-worth. Navigating Forward Emerging from the painful experience, E carried the newfound knowledge of N's narcissism and a better understanding of their own emotional landscape. They came to realize that their empathy, far from being a weakness, was a strength. It allowed them to understand, forgive, and ultimately to heal. In the face of N's discard, E chose to embrace self-love and self-worth. They recognized their own intrinsic value, independent of N's validation. 
They realized that they were not the one at fault, that they were not the one lacking. They acknowledged their ability to feel deeply, to empathize, and to love unconditionally as their strength, not their downfall. And so, dear listeners, we arrive at the end of this poignant tale, a journey filled with discovery, pain, understanding, and ultimately, self-realization. The story of E and N serves as a stark reminder that while the landscape of human relationships can be convoluted and treacherous, the compass of self-love and self-respect can guide us through even the most challenging terrains. The information provided in this podcast has been compiled through a deep understanding of narcissism, empathy, and human behavior, drawing upon the shared knowledge from numerous textbooks, articles, and websites available. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Information for Life, insights and ideas to navigate your world. Until next time, keep exploring, keep growing, and most importantly, keep loving yourself.